Hi, Hi. Good to see you. Hey, um, how, how are the backs and the skill position guys adapting to this new offense, and how exciting is it with the multiplicity you have in it? Um, I think everyone's adapting to the speed, you know, the tempo, you know, and what we got to do to get this offense going. Um, the running backs, uh, I can talk on my position group because, you know, I'm with those guys every day working. Um, just understanding the blocking fits, you know, and our aiming points on the inside zones and any any run play, you know, we're kind of understanding. And um, we're also also being flexible to you know the routes from the slot position. So, you know, we're understanding a little bit more to the point where we can step up and do other people's jobs. Um, the receivers, um, they're very good at what they do. Um, the offensive line is coming together, uh, communicating more. Uh, they're also keeping up with the tempo, and uh, everyone's starting, it's starting to become a well-oiled machine. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch, and they get the job done. They get it done timely, and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now. Don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. And we heard so much about John Jackson coming into the season. What are your first impressions of him as quarterback? Oh, yeah. So, Josh Jackson, he's a very great person. Um, I don't even like talking about football with this guy. Like, just talking about, like, life situations and off the field. Like, he's a, he's a leader. You know, he just – someone you would want to want to hang – you know, be around. You know, but on the field, you know, he gets you going. You know, um, he, he makes great decisions uh, in and outside of the pocket. Um, and he's just a great leader. And that's somebody you want to have on your team, most definitely. How good is the room this year? You guys were really tight last year. Is it mm -hmm. carried over to this season? Oh yes, every time. Every time we're, we're together, man, it's going to be very, very special. Um, these guys, you know, they they know how to, you know, keep you going. Like for me personally, I, I learn off these guys. Like and I feed off these guys, and, and we feed off each other. Um, it's a friendly competition in the room. You know, we know that, and um, I just think like it's brotherhood. So. So is, it a, is it a Fortnite? What's your challenge this summer? You guys playing against each other? What kind of games? Is it Madden or is it Fortnite? Oh, no, it's Madden all day. Madden all the time. Madden 20 just came out probably two weeks ago, so we've just been on that so far. You know, um, right now, of course, I'm the man in Madden. You know, I got to say that. So who's your team in Madden? Uh, I use the Ravens and the Cowboys. Yep. And any um, surprises after week of camp on the offensive side of all young guys, transfers that have come in that have turned your head? Oh, yes. We uh, we have a nice uh, freshman receivers who just came in. Um, we got Isaiah Hazel. He's stepping up. Um, he, he runs very nice routes, very strong hands. Um, we have young guys on the offensive line who they still have to learn, but they're also strong. They're stronger, you know. Um, and, of course, Josh Jackson, with the transfer he came in, he's very nice. And how has your game changed this year? I, mean, I know it's still a very tough comp uh, tight competition among mm -hmm. all the running backs. How have you tweaked or nuanced your game to get up there? To my game, I actually got, you know, more faster. You know, my feet has gotten better, hands gotten better, and I, I just learned how to run routes. You know, so I can help the team. Even if I can't play running back, I can move out the slot. You know, and help the team by, in that position also. And have you seen a change in Amac after the year he had you last year to this year? His focus and determination. You see him on a lot of national tout sheets and such. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Anthony McFarland, man, that's just somebody I, I learned from. You know, we if we watch film like even yesterday we were watching film and I asked him, you know, I say, what do you think I can do on this run right here? And he told me, he gave me some advice and. I, and I use it today out here, and it worked. So uh, that's somebody I want to keep around me for a long time. So with the nickname of Fleet, how fast is Fleet? You said you're working on your speed. Yes, sir. What Fleet. Kind of 40s? Oh, uh, I'm gonna come out here. I probably give y'all guys a good four five, you know. But um, when it's my time, I, I want to bring that down to at least four four. All right, Dan. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Guys.